Hey Australia, Dr. Mark Costas here, founder of the Dental Success Institute, author of the book Pillars of Dental Success. Once again, excited to announce that I will be one of the presenters at Marketing Dentistry 2014 right there in, on your home turf in Australia. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about a little known phenomenon called the champagne glass effect. And it all goes back to, two, uh, to 1906. This Italian economist named Vilfredo Pareto made some really interesting observations in his home country of Italy. He noticed that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by only 20% of the residents. And he found that very, very interesting. He also found that 80% of the wealth was attributed to just 20% of the population. And in a completely unrelated area, he also noted that 80% 80, 80 of the peas were produced by just 20% of the pods. So now we're talking about biology and socioeconomics. And it turns out that the, the rule is pretty universal. It can be called the champagne glass effect. It can be called the Pareto principle. It could also be called the 80-20 rule, which is what most people know it as. So let's fast forward to 1992. The UN does a worldwide study about the wealth distribution in the entire world. And they concluded that 20% of the world's population controls 80% of the wealth. Now if you look at this little chart here, you can see that this 20% of the population controls 80% of the wealth in the entire world. Okay, so if you look at the distribution here, this small little stem of the champagne glass is 80% of the population. And the 80% of the population is clawing and scratching for this tiny little stem, while 20% of the world is controlling all of this wealth up here. So it turns out if you take advantage of this 80-20 rule, if you take time to really study what that 20% is, what the 20% is doing that's different from the rest of the population, then you're onto something. And you can really, really improve your business, your life, and in particular, for our purposes, your dental practice. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the 80-20 rule in dentistry. So 80% of the revenue from our dental practice comes from just 20% of the patients. 80% of referrals come from just 20% of our patient base. 80% of complaints come from 20% of the patients, believe it or not, I think you guys could agree with that. And 20% of the marketing brings in 80% of new patients. So the savvy dental practice owner and practitioner would probably want to figure out what the common characteristics were in that 20% of the patient base that was delivering 80% of the revenue. So the 80-20 rule as it applies to business. If you identify your highest value activities and delegate out all other activities, you'll find yourself with much more time on your hands and much more profitable. So performing this one simple exercise can literally exponentially increase your revenue and the time that you're allowed to spend away from the practice. So at Marketing Dentistry 2014, I'm going to go in depth about how you can utilize the 80-20 rule to exponentially grow your dental practice, to begin enjoying your career once again, and to spend more time away from the business. Don't forget, Tracy Penn will be there to do workshops for your key team members. So don't forget to bring the entire team. I look forward to seeing you there, and if you haven't bought your tickets yet, now would be a great time. There's more videos to come, and we'll talk soon. Take care.